Good morning guys, um, today we are going to recreate a house that I saved a picture of on Pinterest many years ago. It's in America, it's called the Kraken House and it is a house that has these giant inflatable octopus tentacles coming out of the window. I am going to try and recreate them using chicken wire and some sort of coating around the outside which this is a learning process like the spider tutorial where I'm winging it and I don't know what will work and what won't work I need it to be waterproof it needs to be glow in the dark and it needs to not fall down when the wind blows so it's going to be a challenge but I'm taking you with me for the ride oh so I was going to do this on the camera but the camera hasn't got an SD card so this is what I'm planning to use it is a chicken wire I can't remember I think it's 10 meters it's not going to be enough I know that but I need to figure out if this is actually going to be worth my time and if it's going to work and then black duct tape which is apparently waterproof so my idea is to make cylinders with the chicken wire using zip ties to connect the cylinders and to connect then the next cylinder on top of the cylinder blow and then once i've made the shape of the octopus tentacle i'm going to use the duct tape to tape around that's going to be a slow process but i need to make sure it is tight then i'm hoping well, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next bit then. I don't know whether I then, that would be enough. And I just, we just need to sand and prime this tape just to get the gloss off and then it would be fine to paint. Or whether I would need to do something on top of this, which I'm thinking is probably going to be the case. So anyway, let's get started. So I've made my first cylinder, but I think I've run into my first problem already. This chicken wire is not as strong as the last lot of chicken wire I bought. Okay, I just order things and I don't read the descriptions properly and I gotta stop doing that because I've just ended up with like a gigantic sushi rice as well but thought I was ordering just a small bag and a big bag's arrived. So anyway, this is where we're at. We're still repeating the post process of doing a cylinder shape and using zip ties to tie them together. Um, Chris has built these stands out of what kind of wood? Take it with me. Like really be and then out the wood for whatever I could find in the Yeah, garage. so basically leftover wood in the garage, he's built these stands. So then these can slide on top. Um, so Chris is working. So we're reinforcing the inside. So we tape in basically cardboard and um, like crisscrossing them all the way up to give it more stable structure. As you can see, this one's on the stand. And, and these ones, um, which we need to just finish the tops off. The problem is, is it's been absolutely torrential rain. So we haven't spray painted them yet. Um, and time is ticking. Halloween's in 11 days. Mm -hmm. 